What's up? It's Wild Bill, the Night Owl, with another video. This video is a serious video. What I mean about that is I found out that my mother has cancer. Uh, I will know more when I take her to her doctor's appointment. I don't know when that is. They're going to try to get her in quickly. But they said something, they, they did say it's treatable. But I, I don't know. I've known too many people with cancer. That said it was treatable and they ended up passing away I mean what happened was when my dad passed away in 2017 my mother she started losing weight we all thought it was because you know, my dad passed on winter or anything, so she didn't she she didn't feel like eating. So she did lost a lot of weight. She was I believe 150 yeah, about 150, may, uh, maybe less, something like that. Um she's down to 107. She's scared. I'm scared. My mom and me were very, very close. I mean, she's only 72. I mean, yeah, she could live a long time. I just don't know what it is yet. But we know it's cancer. So... I'm going to spend more time with her. We always do go down her house and eat dinner and she comes over ours. But yeah, it's just when it comes to something like this, you just, you ever hear that expression? I'm, I'm sure you all did. You don't know what you got until it's gone. I experienced that with my dad. Me and my dad used to... We didn't see eye to eye with a lot of things, but... You know, we did get along. But me and my mom, we always got along. You know, we laughed. We'd be on the phone. We would be on the phone few times uh, a week uh, like three hours we would just talk and talk and talk it's just hard you know it, it's like a it's like a hit in the face you know so I sympathize with everyone that has parents that die from cancer or has cancer because I mean come on I mean I lost my dad I, I would say four and a half years ago I don't want to lose my mom So please keep her in your prayers because she's going to need it. So hopefully I'll get 
better results when we see the doctor. But may I, it's hard for me to prepare for the worst. I'm not mentally strong like some others. Especially I'm the strongest son mentally. But I admit I am sensitive. There's nothing wrong with that. But you get me mad? I'm a whole different person. But we're not talking about that right you now. That's not the subject. So I had my my friend Billy, the one that had this truck, die from ca oh, cancer. He went fast, but he had pancreas cancer. So cancer. <clears throat> it's just or it's. It's it's just hard to grasp this, because I, mean, I don't know really what to say. You know, uh, I know a lot of people. They say, "Hey, Bill, stay strong." That's easy for you to say, you know. But I can see if me and my mom weren't close, but we are. Very close. So. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to take it day by day. Well, the good thing is my mom knows the Lord. She's a Christian. She goes to church every Sunday. And she really loves God. That's the plus. You might not believe it, but I'm I'm a Christian too. Sometimes I might not, not act like it. I gotta work on that. I do have a temper. I don't show it in my videos. I just figure I will let you guys know and I appreciate the prayers that you guys uh, send out I really appreciate that and I know most of you will when I get more info I will keep you guys posted in fact I will have a video tomorrow stay tuned so I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one. Love your parents. Respect them. Spend as much time as you can with them. Because it's very important. This life, this world is too short. It really is. It's too short. Just enjoy it while you can. Be kind to one another. Do something nice for somebody. So I will see you tomorrow. And I'm out of here. Bye.